purpose. I'm gonna use the anchor. Oh my god! Three slash anchor. Great fish. Oh my god, bro. Chill out, mate. Hey, welcome back to Muddy Feet. There's no fish left in the fridge, so we're heading up the coast. Hopefully we can catch something delicious for dinner. Not the easiest launch ever, but not too bad. And we're off. I'm gonna use the anchor today. The other day I fished here without anchor and I had a little bit of trouble staying staying on the fish, so it was good in one way because it helped me find a couple of spots in here that were extra, extra fishy. So we've come back to the spot that I found um, two days ago. We're gonna fish at anchor with a big burly and um, fish with bait. So see how we go. As always, first thing I like to get sorted is I like to get the burly in the water. And I'm using classic salmon burly. One of my favourites if I'm not making my own burly. It works really well. It's nice and oily. that block of squid defrosting a little bit quicker. I'm not going to fish it yet, really I'm just going to let the burly start working. I'm going to use 50 pound trace. I'm going to use a single 10 bar row today. Um, I'm going to use absolutely no sinker and I'm just going to float that out the back. I'm using 50 pound fluoro for trace and hopefully that's enough to stop a big one. Why are you not using sinker? Because uh, it's super shallow in here. Oh. and I want to present the bait as close to natural as I possibly can in here. Um, it's shallow so it won't take very long for the bait to float down anyway. Yeah. You're still filming me? Oh you are too. One of my favourite knots, I think I showed it in a few of my other videos. It's uh, the old long liners snell. Super super strong. I talk about it all the time. There's no choke point in the knot so it's one of my favourites. So that's that bit and then I'm going to join my trace to my braid with the FG knot. I'll try a nice squid bait. Not a bad fish. Very nice fanny. Alright, we're on the board. It's our first fish for the afternoon. It's a perfect size panny. That's what we're after. We're all out of fish at home so we wanted a few for the for the fridge. And that one's perfect. These ones around. Hopefully the bigger ones turn up. Very tough. Yeah, I should have brought something heavier, some okay, some mullet or something. Wood's just getting owned. Must be someone else going fishing. <laughs> oh well, somehow the anchor has come unshackled off the piece of chain. Um, we actually just borrowed this anchor off a friend on the way up the coast and it's literally, it didn't get stuck or anything, it just came un, unshackled. So now we've got no anchor. Okay. So we're heading into shore to try and find a rock and I'm going to tie that to the um, to the anchor rope and hopefully we can continue fishing. It's about my only plan at the moment so hopefully it works. We've got our anchor. Now I've just got to do a little bit of a sketchy beach launch and uh, we'll put it back out to our spot and see if we can see if we can stay put. Let this next wave go. Two more of them actually. Just have to wait. Oh my god! our anchor so what I'm going to do is I've got this rope I'm going to turn our burly bag 
into our anchor. So we're in quite shallow, so it shouldn't be too bad having our burley right on the bottom. Um, and it'll drift out behind where we're fishing anyway. So we now have one burley slash anchor combo and hopefully that holds us in position and we can catch some good fish. Let's go. Oh wait, I've got an idea. I'll tie it onto the anchor rope before I chuck it in the sea. <laughs> right, here we go. The burly anchor combo all in one. Deploy. Good day to be fishing, baby. Ain't no place I'd rather be. Any day fishing's a good day. That's a nice fish, isn't it? Chill out, mate. Chill out. Oh, oh man, How, what am I doing wrong? Oh, yes, exactly what we need. Yes, <laughs> bait. Yes! Absolutely perfect. Just caught a nice tr fresh trevally. Um, I've just whipped the fillet off one side and on the other side, the side with the bones, I've just cut off the tail section. Now I'm going to use that as a snapper bait. A beautiful eight bar o hook. I'm going to slip that in there through that twice. First through the meat side and then back out so that the point of the hook's exposed on that meat side. I like that bony bit as well. It, helps it stay on the hook a lot better. Right, float that down the burly trail and see if we can catch a snapper. He hasn't woken up yet. Fish, it might be a cowboy. Yes! Big cowboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to land this. It's our bait. Perfect. Oh, he dropped it. No. Hopefully we get another shot. That was the perfect fish. Never mind. That is exactly what we needed. Look, he's a great size yes. one too. Oh, well, fish, fish, fish. Perfect. We've got fresh bait for the afternoon now. Yes. Oh, we're going to slay it now. Eating pilchards. And one of those they look like little pillies or sardines or something too. Yeah, Cow are sucking up bits of trevally up right up in the shallows. He's not bad. Few good eaters, so this guy can go back. Um, I'm going to target a couple of really big ones for the afternoon. Hopefully, we can land one. It's not bad. It's trying to be gentle and sneak off up the side of the boat with the bait. Beautiful red. Good fish. Both in the rocks. Good one. Yes. He 
he's a goodie. snapper right he was lurking right up in the shallows great fish he'll be on the menu in not too long a snapper that's our fish of the day so far beautiful snapper um, it's not massive massive I'll say it probably goes seven eight seven pounds six pounds seven pounds beautiful fish see if I can get a bigger one before we go home right. this is the lighter gear so it might be a little bit harder to complete but it has just been smacked. Here it comes. It's a good fish too. Man, this session is firing late. Look at that. What a beautiful red. Woo. How's that? How's that for two at a time, guys? some of these fish off the hook so I can carry on fishing. It's starting to run pretty low on bait and the sun's not too far off setting. But often this is when you catch your last few fish, your last few really big fish. So I want to bang out a couple more big baits and see if we can't stop a donkey. Mean more bait. We can stay fishing until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh that was getting eaten by a big snapper. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, that's going to get eaten by a big snapper. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's the car while I get that one as well. Is it still going for it? Look. <laughs> Almost a full size car Oh, look at that. Look at that, that one's hooked up. Get this massive car wire under control. <laughs> yeah, you can go on the smoker. Oh, that one's gone to foul. Oh, that one got off. Uh. Oh, it is. Beautiful big car wire. Um, he's got an appointment with the smoker. I've got a friend who's hanging out for a bit of smoke car wire, and that's where he's going to go. Oh well. Um, that concludes a pretty deadly session. Um, we're both pretty happy with that one, eh, Jude? Yes. Um, we're loaded up on delicious fish that'll feed us for the rest of the week and a few of our neighbours, of course. But um, yeah, what a session. Awesome day. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button. We're also on Facebook if you want to check us out there.